So, uh, once more for the gazillion time. So I'm gonna spray glue it first, then, then weed it out, should be possible. I hope it is at least. Now I am going to put some alcohol on there, see if we can soak the, water, the paper on the back side a little bit. <clears throat> the spray paint should, a uh, spray glue should be uh, like, um, okay when the alcohol is evaporated. So we leave this, and I'm gonna get a piece of one micron film and spray some glue on there as well. <coughs> Be right back. Well, here goes nothing, absolutely nothing. So I got some one micron foil with spray glue on it. Gonna dump it over and see what, what's happening. I hope the paper is a little bit soaked now. But who knows? Yeah. Yes, it's not gonna be without wrinkles, but that's no problem. You can get rid of most of them by a little bit of heat. Because one micron does shrink quite a lot. Too sure. One micro might, might just be, you know. Too thin. I somehow want to have one micro. If I'm gonna do it, why not? Like. There you have it. Is this reliable? No, not really. Could be better, I think. And stretching it too much might screw it up. So the paper is still on. Uh, so now the, now the idea is uh, putting it down and uh, stretch it a little, attach it to a, a membrane, then dump it in water and then the paper will release. I'm not even sure if the alcohol uh, step was necessary but Usually it tends to stick too much to the cutting mat and if it doesn't stick as much to the cutting mat it will rip while plotting. This stuff is light. So let's, well I'm gonna attach it inside and stretch it up see if I can glue it to a frame. I know the frames are not perfect yet, but 
I am doing it step by step. It's not a one day build, more like a, a one year build I guess. I thought it would be easier if I use my own foil, but uh, apparently I uh, don't use my own foil. So, I'll get that inside. Um, it's gonna be uh, attaching a foil to a spacer as usual, so I'm probably not gonna film it, but see you soon. So, I uh, uh, attached it to a glass plate, stretched it lightly. There are some wrinkles left, but that's okay. Uh, added glue to the frame. we can kind of attach this. So it has to go like this on the inner circle. I would be surprised. Now I need a sharp knife, which I don't have. I might... I need new knives, I need new, new tape, I need a lot of new things, but... I run out of money. No, this is too small. Is this knife any good? No. Do I have one knife here that is kind of sharpish? Could use a... Well, then the round blade, which is not gonna cut nicely. I hear some uh, nasty resonances. We've heard that before. Okay, see if I can heat it up a little bit without fucking it over. Well, that's higher, of course, but it's at least uh, not these uh, terrible sounds. So now I'm gonna dump it in water because, as you may see, maybe not, there's still uh, paper on it. A little bit of water. Ooh. Funny, that's the whole coil in paper. That releases quite nicely. So now we should be able to measure it. Tricky part, scary part.
It's kind of a lot of work actually, but it'll be easy one. It's damn fragile, so I have to be really careful. Hmm. This is gonna be in the way of the metal, I think. Oh, the fuck? Let's see what resistance is. Oh, I don't have my meter here. It's in the shop. It's still wet. Might need to dry it first before I attach the place. Now the question is, can we get any sound of it out of it? At least that's my question. I'm pretty sure the resonance is still too high. I'm not sure how they reach that low. Uh, might forgetting something, but uh, this is a one micron foil with six point something aluminum micron foil there you go so yeah what you're looking at is my it's <laughs> my super nice contraption what's up puss so i'll show you what it is act actually um, so I don't have a measuring jig uh, and I don't have cups yet so I have to kind of fuck around to see what's happening. So when I designed it I didn't have a spacer so I made this spacer from felt. Uh, normally or next time uh, I just need a normal plastic spacer because I cannot attach this um, thing because it's touching the foil. So I'll do it like this at this moment. On the back side there is some felt as well right now, not sure if it's needed, but then I'll attach my head. Uh, it's a piece of carton somewhere here and then dump in my mic. Like so. Now I know pressure is, uh, and a good seal really uh, makes the base go lower, etc. But still, I think the resonance is too high of this panel. Uh, so I can go a few ways, that is decreasing resonance of the foil, which is hard to do, or just make the foil a little bit wider, so you can still have a nicely, evenly stretched foil and have lower resonance. But I've seen a few uh, uh, planar magnetic headphones that they do look a little bit wobbly, like not nicely stretched, evenly. So uh, maybe this is how it's supposed to be, or that might be the faulty ones. I'm not sure if it's Hi-Fi Man or some of these brands that have some problems. But let's do a quick measurement uh, straight from my headphone out of the dock. Uh, Puss is making a mess here. Let's go. Sorry, Puss is hitting the cable all the time with her tail. Uh, okay, so I got a thing going on. looking okay. Now I'm gonna attach or uh, add some more pressure and see if that changes anything. Shoot. And I'll show you the nice uh, recording of that. Ooh, it's such a mess. No surprise there. So, uh, brownish one is without the added pressure. And purple is with the uh, better seal, sort of. 
and you can see it reach a little bit lower but still you know the resonance is probably around 200 150 200 and you can see it drop off so I'm not sure what to do about that getting lower resonance I guess uh, and the top end as usual this never looks good to be honest it always looks like shit in a headphone let me show or let's see what it does uh, without the sort of cup so as a tweeter more or less let's see if that's any better Well, yes and no. It still looks kind of weird. Why does it look so crappy? Did I forget something? quite clearly uh, hear the resonance and then um, yeah well also not perfect this is some weird insanely resonant thingy I might measure it too close actually Let's see what this does Well, if you go a little bit further away, it looks better and better. At least better than with cup. Of course, you lose the low end. But we can see the resonance clearly. 200. That was a quite okay-ish guess, uh, I think. But uh, let's see how it sounds uh, as a headphone recorded by my Omni. So, there is not going to be a lot of low end, as you can see. Not as much as I hoped for. Oh, let me show you, ow, fuck. Let me show you the distortion, which is quite okay. So it's all total harmonic is all below 0.1% up or down to, oh, down to 172. Then it increases increases up till here it is 0.2 percent at 70 hertz and then it goes ballistic and we have a one percent distortion at 37 hertz uh, a reason is uh, it loses output there and um, uh, maybe also because it's uh, playing as a single ended so there's only magnets on one side. So this could this could be easily lowered with more magnets on the other side. Uh, yeah, well, it's uh, definitely not perfect. But I'm glad I could attach it to a one micron foil, something that didn't look like I was uh, able to do so. I'm gonna play a song, why not?